Boiled potato water versus rice water, the home experiment that shocked gardeners everywhere. What if the secret to faster, stronger root growth has been slipping right through your fingers every single time you cook? That cloudy water you've been pouring down the drain might just be the most powerful natural plant tonic your garden has ever seen. Today on Soil and Crop Central, we're diving deep into an experiment that's been making waves among home gardeners and plant scientists alike, boiled potato water versus rice water. Which one truly supercharges root growth? Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which liquid to use, how to prepare it, and the science that makes it work. When you boil potatoes, the water left behind isn't just waste, it's a nutrient-dense solution loaded with essential minerals and energy. As the potatoes cook, potassium, phosphorus, magnesium, and calcium leach into the water, creating a mineral cocktail that roots absolutely love. These nutrients are the core building blocks for rapid cell division, strong root elongation, and overall plant vitality. Potassium fuels cell growth and helps regulate water uptake, while phosphorus drives root initiation and energy transfer throughout the plant. Together, they act like a natural rooting hormone, only cheaper and safer. But what really makes boiled potato water unique is its gelatinized starch content. As potatoes cook, their starches swell and dissolve into the water, forming a sticky, nutrient-rich film. This starch feeds beneficial soil microbes, turning your ordinary soil into a living, breathing ecosystem that actively supports new root development. When you pour this water around young seedlings or plant cuttings, you're not just feeding the plant, you're energizing the microbial life beneath the surface. Those microbes help break down organic matter faster, making nutrients more accessible to tender new roots. To use boiled potato water safely, Always ensure it's plain. No salt, no seasoning, no oil. Salt can burn roots and disrupt microbial balance. Once cooled to room temperature, dilute one cup of boiled potato water with two cups of clean chlorine-free water, about 700 milliliters total, before applying. Pour gently around the root zone, never directly on the leaves. This mix provides a gentle nutrient rush that accelerates root initiation, especially in freshly propagated cuttings. Rice water has earned a reputation in natural gardening circles for being a dual-purpose elixir. It both feeds and protects. The water left behind after rinsing or boiling rice contains starch, trace amounts of nitrogen, phosphorus, amino acids, and vitamins that nourish plant tissues and support microbial health. But its true potential is unlocked through fermentation. Allowing rice water to sit at room temperature for 24 to 48 hours transforms it into a probiotic-rich tonic teeming with beneficial bacteria and enzymes. These microbes, you know, break down starch into simpler compounds that are easier for roots to absorb. What you end up with is a mild, living fertilizer that promotes steady root formation, strengthens the plant's natural defenses, and enriches the soil over time. To use it properly, the dilution matters. For fresh, unfermented rice water, mix one part rice water with one part clean water. So, for example, 250 milliliters of rice water to 250 milliliters of water. For fermented rice water, always dilute it further. One part fermented rice water to three parts clean water, which is about 250 milliliters of rice water with 750 milliliters of clean water. This helps prevent microbial overload, which could lead to mold or root rot. When applied correctly, rice water acts more like a long-term conditioner for the soil. It helps maintain microbial balance, improves moisture retention, and softens compacted soil so roots can expand freely. Over time, this creates a healthier, more resilient root system capable of absorbing nutrients efficiently and withstanding stress. Now, here's where it gets exciting, the head-to-head -head root growth test. To see which liquid truly reigns supreme, you can set up a simple experiment at home. Just take three identical jars, each filled with 300 milliliters of liquid, one with boiled potato water, one with rice water, and one with plain water as your control. 
Place identical cuttings in each jar. Sweet potato vines or pothos cuttings work perfectly and keep them under the same light and temperature conditions. Change the water every three to four days to keep it fresh. Within the first week, you'll notice a clear difference. The cutting in boiled potato water will typically show faster root initiation, thicker, longer roots appearing within days. This happens because the mineral-rich solution immediately supplies potassium and phosphorus, which are two of the most critical nutrients for root development. But don't count rice water out just yet. By the second week, the rice water cutting often catches up, developing finer, whiter, more fibrous roots. These roots are the result of a healthier microbial environment created by the fermented rice water. While they may take a little longer to appear, they're stronger and more efficient in nutrient absorption. The boiled potato water acts like a spark plug, triggering fast initial growth, while rice water becomes the steady fuel that sustains long-term root and soil health. Both work beautifully, but in different ways. At the core of plant growth lies one simple truth. Roots need nutrients and energy. Boiled potato water provides both directly. It's essentially a nutrient infusion that delivers readily available minerals and plant-friendly starches straight to the roots. This immediate availability makes it perfect for jump-starting cuttings or seedlings that need quick energy to establish themselves. Rice water, on the other hand, works indirectly. It doesn't flood the plant with nutrients right away. Instead, it builds an ecosystem that keeps delivering those nutrients over time. Through fermentation, rice water cultivates beneficial bacteria and fungi that colonize the root zone, creating what gardeners call the rhizosphere, a living network that slowly transforms starches and organic matter into plant-available nutrients. In short, boiled potato water feeds the plant, while rice water feeds the soil life that sustains the plant. Together, they create a natural feedback loop that balances fast growth with long-term resilience. If you're rooting cuttings and want fast results, apply diluted boiled potato water. One cup potato water plus two cups clean water once or twice a week. Always let it cool completely before use and pour it gently at the base of the cutting. If you're using rice water, Frequency depends on the type. Fresh rice water can be applied every three to four days, while fermented rice water should only be used once a week, always diluted at a one to three ratio. Avoid pouring fermented rice water directly onto leaves or using it in closed containers without ventilation. It's alive and too much microbial activity can lead to unwanted fermentation smells or fungal buildup. For the ultimate root growth system, alternate between the two. One week, Give your plants a nutrient surge with boiled potato water. The next week, nurture the soil with fermented rice water. This rotation keeps your plants energized while maintaining microbial balance in the soil. Over time, you'll notice thicker roots, healthier foliage, and stronger resistance to stress and disease. So which one wins the root growth test? If your goal is speed, boiled potato water takes the lead. Its high potassium and phosphorus content gives plants the immediate push they need to establish roots quickly. But if you're after sustainability and soil health, rice water, especially fermented, emerges as the long-term champion. Here's the secret the best gardeners already know. You don't have to choose. The real magic happens when you use them together in moderation. The potato water provides instant nutrients, while the rice water maintains the living soil network that supports ongoing growth. Together, they form a powerful natural duo that rivals commercial rooting hormones without the cost or chemicals. So the next time you're about to pour that cloudy water down the drain, stop. That's not waste, that's pure plant gold.